So first of all, you have to get an app called Loader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. Just go to search and here in the search bar, start typing the loader. Usually there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. So go down and click on my far TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some flower sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll have to go to about, select flower TV stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see now, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So let's open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here we have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, and there we got the downloader application. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got loads of servers, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app, I just connect to any server, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can snoop on you or track you. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble online. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 4 months for free, and then let's use the loader safely. Then let's finally open the loader app. On the left side menu here, make sure to click on Home, that's important. Then you see a search bar appear, which we have to click on, and then enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So the code is, once again, 28907, and then you have to press on Go. And in a couple of seconds, the website is going to load for you. So here is the website. What we have to do here is just scroll down a little bit until we see a list of categories. So here it is, and what we got to click here is the IPTV players category. So let's click on it. Then a list of apps is going to open, and here is the playbury which we are looking for. So let's click on Playbury here. Then if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close, because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So just click on close. And then a new web page is going to open for you, which you also have to scroll down. And you gotta keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. They have to look exactly like the ones you see on the screen. So here's the main download button, but if for some reason it does not work for you and the download does not start, you can always use backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now let's click on download, and in a couple of seconds, the app is going to be downloaded to your device. Usually it happens really fast, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Now we just have to click on install right here, and now the app is going to be installed to your Fire Stick device, or Android TV of course, depending on what device you are using. And after the Playberry player has been installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, as we do not need it anymore. So we have to click on delete, and then delete once again. So now we're good to go to the list of applications on your device. Let's go there, here it is, let's click on it. And when it loads, you got to scroll down and at the bottom you'll find Playberry, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote 
There has to be a button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, Playberry app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then, of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected and once again, you can get 4 months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in a pinned comment below the video. And after that, you can safely open Playberry and there you just enter the M3U link to your live TV service. The Playbread player does not have any media inside it by default, so you need to get the M3U link from your live TV provider. There are thousands, if not even more, different live TV providers in the world, so it's completely up to you which one to choose. Then you just get the M3U link, enter it in the player, and it's going to work for you. And then if at some point you want to delete the app, you just select it, click on the options button on your remote, click on uninstall, click uninstall once again, click OK here, and the app is going to be deleted from your Fire Stick. So the whole process is really simple, and I hope the video was helpful to you.